Hello viewers and welcome back and today we're going to take on the big job, the heist. It's time to wage war on the castle and in the confusion pull off a heist I've named Operation High Road. First, Murray will take down the spotlights on the main gate with the codes provided by General Clawfoot. Then, with the help of the voice modulator, I'll order Neela's forces to attack. Sly will then paraglide the two of us over to the Contessa's getaway blimp, and we'll use it to get inside her re-education tower. The assault on the castle will undoubtedly draw the Shadow Guards off their post, and if we free Inspector Fox, she's sure to clear out the Contessa. With the Mind Shuffler exposed, I'll plant the Bad Mojo Bomb, and presto, the clockwork eyes are ours. So if the two of you are ready, Let's take our positions and get this thing started. And this job is going to be quite easy we, if everything goes as planned. So basically we let Murray deactivate security from the general that we kidnapped two videos ago. And Sly and Bentley will use the contestant slint to get into the re-education tower while doing the assault with Neela's mercenaries. The Shadow Guard would disappear, and if we hack the security in the re-education re tower, the Contessa will be gone also with the help of Carmelita. So let's get this crazy party started, shall we? I hope that general guy told the truth, or this is gonna get ugly. Oh yeah! The lights are down, Bentley! Time to call in the cavalry! I'll see if I can find some extra firepower to help out! Attention, bloodthirsty mercenary forces! The castle defense, defense is on down! Seize this opportunity for aggressive military action by pressing an attack on the castle! Charge! For victory! For glory! That should do it! Now that you're done being a warmonger, feel like paragliding over to that blimp? Just make sure to grab the rope hanging off that thing! I don't want to drown! Okay, next we just have to simply glide over to the blimp and try to grab onto the pipe. And, yeah, and then we have to get rid of some guards who are actually piloting the thing. The blasted thing. And let's just use our electrocution to kill these guys. And that makes the job a little let's easier. For the re education tower. What? The mercenaries have breached the castle defenses? All of you go! Defend this tower to the last man! Don't worry, my dear. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. Now let me out of here and I'll readjust your face. Looks like the Shadow Guard is out of the picture. You ready to free our violent little princess? Affirmative. That Iron Tech 250 is a fully integrated system. Access to Carmelita's restraints has to be in this old terminal somewhere. Okay, let's hack this one, and it's just a simple firewall while trying to survive Kamikaze Tank. No. Kamikaze. Program. And they keep on respawning. Just, just take care of the firewall, and if there are some Kamikazes, try to... Oh. Kamikaze Tank. Yeah. They shoot. And it's a mix of Kamikazes and Kamikaze Tank. My mistake. Just try to get out of the Kamikaze Tank's way I deal with the Kamikaze as best I can, and just keep on hacking that firewall. Eventually, the firewall will the firewall will be gone, and we can just simply activate this node that will release Carmelita. So let the two duke it out.
I've isolated the brain pattern. You and I are about to become the best of friends. Okay, new best friend. Hands up! And I mean all of them! My dear, you really should... <gasps> Shadow Guard! Shadow Guard! Come back here, you witch! That Carmelita. Always trying to resolve her problems with the shock pistol. She is rather truculent. Stand clear, Sly. This might have a larger blast than anticipated. Bentley, you okay? This is no place for an asthmatic. But I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, chaps. It's safely in hand. Dila? Thanks for clearing out the Contessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. Hmm, wouldn't she be enough for the old bird? Ta-ta! Bentley, take the eye and escape on the blimp. I'm going after Neela. But the plan! It... This wasn't in the plan! Yeah, things didn't go according to plan. We didn't count on... Neela actually getting to the re-education power, so now we gotta chase after her. And I hope you you have to follow Neela because now she's got a paraglider, so you're gonna need the paraglider for that for and to getting onto the blimp. So all we have to do is keep following her until we reach a particular moment, and then we'd be done. Just keep on following her, going into the well. Just keep on following her. And... Yeah, I have nothing to say, really. Absolutely nothing to say. While going through this. Um... Don't know... Well, I... Well, I have, okay, I think I got one. That, um, uh, Star Force 2, unfortunately, won't be fully commented anymore. Because, you know, uh, spending time, energy on one project, with poisoning, and there's gonna be a random lot, like, how many days I can do this, and so, yeah, only, like, so, with non-comments, maybe, yeah, sorry about that. You should watch where you're going. This place is dangerous. Don't you dare! That eye is mine! It's mine! Ah, actually, Mr. Cooper, the eye belongs to me. And now Sly's got to take on the Contessa. But first, we have to deal with those turrets that's going to shoot Come Bentley down. Fire. With Neela's bomber, so basically let's start destroying these turrets with the not turrets, the bombers with the turrets from the blimp. So in this bit, we have to destroy 20 planes, and it's quite easy. You don't need to you don't need to go through much, but really somehow things just keep getting worse for us in this job. See what I meant by things getting a lot crazier? But, oh yeah, it gets even more crazier. Just give it a moment. All well, because we have to get one big clockwork guys. And now we just got to chase Neela, then we got to deal with these bombers, and then deal with the Contessa. Yeah, we're I'm racking in the kills with the with the with the bombers. So after destroying 20, this segment will be done, and we go back to fly, taking on the Contessa, the first, the first phase of the Contessa boss fight. Yeah, there's two phases. I'll get to the second phase. The sky's all clear. Okay, guys, I'm heading out for our rendezvous. Come back here, Contessa. 
That getaway blimp won't save you! Oh, Hades! Sly, can you read me? A Carmelita shot out the guidance system, and the blimp's descending at a decidedly unsafe rate! I'm going down! Down! belongs to me, and I want it back. No way. You think I'm crazy? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I really don't want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing dress-up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about you and the Cooper clan. Then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. Short-sighted fool! I've no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality. I'm above all that. Above good and evil. And you think I give the eye to someone that's above morality? Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy and more fun to pry it from your cold, dead hand. Okay, the Contessa boss fight. First phase. So basically, she's going to be starting by ramming, try to ram into you, and if you fell off the arena that where you're fighting the Contessa, because Contessa will just bring you back up to the ring, and you don't suffer anything. She's going to basically charge at first and then spawn the mini spiders to help her, and you can get some help from the mini spiders from the last episode, we haven't seen those guys since the last episode when we did the big job, Operation Trojan Tank. And here's a good example, and oh wait, maybe it only happens when you're dealing with the Trojan Tank, uh, when you fall off. My mistake. So basically, this first segment is not very hard. Enough. You've shown me the error of my ways. I feel sorry for you. All your education, and you still don't know right from wrong. I know enough not to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. She got the eye? She's got the eye! How's this thing work? What's this do? And this? Guys, help! Carmelita took the eye, and she's trying to get away in one of the Contessa's tanks! Don't worry about it, little buddy. I won't let her get away. Oh, dear God, things just keep getting worse! Now the Contessa's got the one of the clockwork eyes, and now Carmelita has the other one. So now we're in control of Murray, trying to deal with... Carmelita by shooting her her tank before she escapes. And the tank control can be bad or good if you now have to go through it. You can actually burn through this one quite as easy. So yeah, that's what so now we got to deal with phase two of the contender boss fight. And now we got one of the clockwork guys, and now we have to get the other one back. From the Contessa second phase boss. We both know I can beat you in a fight. next time, we'll have to do so that next time. So until then, the enjoy the rest. Right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. 